I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In today's video, we are going to be sharing some of my favourite home hacks. So this is like cleaning hacks and a couple of sort of cooking ones as well that if you don't already use, once you get to know, you will be using them every single day and they are so helpful. So before we jump into this video, I wanted to quickly shout out today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Mapness and perfect timing actually because we have been looking for the perfect print for the top of the stairs above the radiator. As you guys know through all the renovation ideas, I keep saying I want to get something upstairs that kind of symbolises like where we stay or something like that and Mapness has been the perfect addition to upstairs. So I'm going to show you just now this print that we got. It represents Glasgow. You can actually go on their website and get any city or even just your house postcode and it zooms in the map and creates this really gorgeous sort of abstract looking map but obviously it's got that really nice monochrome design which is great for home interiors very on trend and also nice to bring some personality into your home I think mapness is a great idea for people who are struggling for a Christmas gift for someone in their family because it's so personal but it's not corny because it's obviously just showing the area someone stays in or maybe a country that means something to somebody in your family such a great idea and there are so many ways to colour combination this you simply head over to their website you you can write in the town, the country, the postcode and you can actually get one that just shows you coordinates which I think is really cool and actually would work really nicely in some kids bedroom decor as well. I love the website, it's so easy to use, you can actually change the colour combinations as well so if you wanted to get something that suits your interior at the moment, there's other colours to choose from and other ways you can lay out the design so there's not just kind of one size fits all, there are so many ways to colour combination this and customise it to your personal preferences. Now you guys know we'll always come in with a discount and we do have a discount for you today. You guys can get £5 off your order using the code MAMMARIED, all in capitals, I'll leave the details in the description box below and also show you where I have decided to put this in the house. It's great because you can actually get the frames as well so you can get the complete printout poster. Plus you can change all the sizes, you can get something really small or you can get something big to take up a larger area or a wall um, and we also opted for a black frame so that it really just contrasts well with the wall and stands out really nicely. You can change the text on it as well, we've just put Glasgow but you could also put things like my home, our wedding day, where I was born, all these different ways that you can change it or you can just put the people's names on it as well or you can keep it blank. I love the way that we designed ours to have like the whole map but another way that I did actually kind of get torn between was the circular design which which is so beautiful as well. So if you guys are looking for something different to jazz up your home, go to the description box below, check out Mapness and add a little bit of personality to your house or to somebody else's for Christmas this year. And don't forget to use my discount code MAMMARIED at checkout for £5 off. I am obsessed with finding really good hacks. There are so many, especially ones that are seasonal. So if you'd like me to do a Christmas hacks, then that can come up soon. I've got so many wrapping hacks to show you. But in today's video, we're going to be talking purely everyday home and cooking hacks. So it's like cleaning, home hacks, things that you can do in your everyday life, not just seasonally. So let's go in with hack number one, which is one of my favourite things to do. This is a relatively new one for me, but did you know you can actually put in your scrub daddy sponges in your dishwasher? It is honestly life changing for me. I love using my scrub daddy sponges, but I find that putting them in the washing machine because they are quite abrasive, other things can stick to it, but you can put them in the dishwasher and they're dishwasher safe. So for me, that has been so revolutionary because my dishwasher goes on at least once a day and obviously I want to keep my sponges and everything really clean and very sanitary so you can pop them in with your dishes and get them washed at the same time. Life changing, such a simple hack, but not everyone knows about it. And speaking about dishwashers, you don't need to just use your dishwasher tablets in the dishwasher. I use mine in so many different ways. One way that I do love to use it is in my oven. If you've got all that grime on your oven door, just taking a dishwasher tablet dry, dipping it in a little tiny bit of water and then scrubbing it, kind of like a little mini scourer, really helps to get off all of that dirt and grime. And actually sometimes if we use a pot or a casserole dish and it's really, really heavily, you know, stained with food and it's all burnt on, 
I get the dishwasher tablet, pop it inside with a full kettle of boiling water and leave it overnight and the stuff just melts off. So it's a really good way to use it. And another way I use dishwasher tablets is to put in my washing machine and clean the machine out because we don't always clean our washing machines and then wonder why they get a bit grimy and the clothes don't smell as nice. If you can maintain your washing machine by simply putting in a dishwasher tablet on a hot cycle, it will clean all of that lovely steel on the inside and make it sparkling and also break down any grime behind the machine that might be causing damp smells in your loads. You guys will all have this, everyone does, but how many times have you come out of the shower or the bath, went to brush your teeth or wash your face and your mirror's all fogged up? This is the simplest solution and it is so affordable. Take a tin of shaving foam, put it on your mirror, like literally rub it on, and then take it all off, wipe it clean, and it defogs your mirror for next time. This lasts, I would generally say, about two to three weeks, and it stops all that condensation buildup. Of course, open your window, that definitely helps, but sometimes mine still would seam up. But since I've found this hack, it has been so good, and I think you guys are gonna love that one. You can use it on things like glasses, so obviously at the moment, we're all wearing face masks because of COVID, so a lot of people's glasses are steaming up, pop the shaving foam on your glasses, wipe it clean and dry and it'll stop them from fogging up with all the condensation. It's such an easy one, really good for the winter as well for your car and just generally glass furniture, mirrored furniture, mirrors in bathrooms, windows. Try this hack, you will not regret it. And if you find some of your kids clothes or maybe your own stuff just doesn't get really white and clean in the washing machine, take some fairy liquid or dish soap of any choice, pop it onto a cloth and put it into your washing load. It honestly makes everything so white. It's got such good soap suds that gets everything really clean and I definitely find a difference when I use this, especially on the school shirts. If like me, you like cooking, then I bet you have quite a lot of waste or leftovers or things that you're supposed to use within three or five days of opening them that you don't use and then you have to bin them. And I hate waste, I really do. So one of my favorite hacks is using the freezer. Now, what I tend to do, if I've got something like passata or chopped garlic or something that I need to keep for the next couple of days but I might not use it, get a Ziploc bag and put it inside. Now, this is especially good for things like sauces, so even like tomato puree, if you take that, pop it into a Ziploc bag and it literally just spreads it all out. You can make a kind of grid just by using a knife. Don't actually pierce through the plastic, but just sort of make lines in the passata or the sauce or whatever it is you're trying to preserve and keep and then slide it into your drawer of your freezer and the way it will freeze will kind of be in little, little kind of square blocks so anytime you then need to use it you don't need to use the whole amount you can simply just break off a piece kind of like a bar of chocolate and use it as you need it so good for saving money so good for saving on waste and just a very good hack that we should generally do all the time i think i'm getting so much better as i get older with using my freezer for leftovers and for saving money and saving on waste but this one is such a good hack because like you know when you open jars like this you don't use them within that period of time also works great for pesto a lot of these things i generally do use warm anyway so having them frozen and then cooking them when they're already frozen into hotter meals and generally it will save you money and also save you on waste this hack has come to me fairly recently but i have used it because we're massive pancake fans in this house so we do have the flour jar out quite a lot but the amount of times i go to decant the flour into a bowl and it all just shoots everywhere did you know you can take a whisk pop it straight inside, give it a little turn, and it gives you a decanted amount of flour in the whisk. It saves on so much mess, it stops the flour particles flying everywhere and creating dust, and I just think this is ingenious. Whoever discovered this, thank you so much, because it saves me, especially with the kids, if they're wanting to bake. It's just so much easier to get them to use the whisk this way, to take some flour out of the jar without it thrown all over the place. This is an oldie but a goodie, but if you don't already know it, then I feel like you will absolutely love this little hack. This just makes my toilet downstairs and upstairs, but mostly downstairs, the kind of guest toilet when people are in, it makes it look so much more put together. 
I get the toilet roll and fold it into a triangle at the end, but then I stamp it kind of like an old fashioned wax stamp. I stamp it with the residue of the water on the tap and it makes it into this little sort of like envelope style toilet roll and it just makes everything look so much tidier. I love doing it. It's a little addiction I have actually when I go in the bathroom downstairs. If it's not like that, I kind of take it and do it again. Obviously it only lasts until the next person uses it, but if you are cleaning, it is the final stamp of approval on my bathroom clean. Let's move on and talk about the joy of the dishmatic. If you guys use them already, a dishmatic you'll know is simply just an open-ended handle which you can put in any kind of washing liquid. So I'll pop in like fairy liquid in there and then put on the little scourer which you can replace and it's just a really good way to wash through your dishes but you don't need to just use it for dishes. I actually put in cleaner for the bathroom and I use it to clean my bathtub, I use it to clean the shower tiles, I use it to clean taps in the sink. I actually have one for the toilet as well, separate, and it's so good because you literally just take that scourer off and replace it with a fresh one so that you're not making more germs on the sponge. It is so great and actually a very good cleaner. And then another way that I like to use it is by popping in some water and some fabric softener and taking it across the skirting boards. Firstly, because it cleans it so well. Secondly, it smells amazing. And also, it doesn't leave a sticky residue. It actually makes it a bit more smoother so it actually stops the dust being attracted to the skirting boards because it leaves a sort of layer on top. Really good hack if you are sick of cleaning skirting boards and them getting dirty but it also cleans them really well. But if you don't want to go straight in at the beginning with the dishmatic then what you can do to take all the dust off first is use a tumble dryer sheet. The tumble dryer sheet grabs all of the dust it's so attracted to the fibres in the sheet that it makes for such good little dusters. So not only do they smell amazing, but they're so good at cleaning and actually quite gentle as well. I normally use them on our bedside lights because they're kind of circular and they gather a lot of dust or glass. And it's such a great hack if you're looking to clean, again, skirting boards or top of your bed or anything you want to get all the dust away from. Tumble dryer sheets, they're what, like a pound a packet? So good, you should definitely get on that one. I'm not sure if this is so much a hack as it is just a really nice thing to do in your house, but I love this way of folding towels. I recently learned it on TikTok from the folding lady online and oh my God, it totally changes the way that your stuff is folded in a drawer. We've got a big drawer on Charlie's bed that we keep all the towels in and now that I've been storing them in this way, it keeps them so much more organized. All I need to do now is train the husband to fold them like that as well, so wish me luck. <laughs> anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed hearing all about these hacks. If you are struggling for a Christmas gift or you would just like something nice for yourself, then definitely head over to my description box below, click there and go on the Mapness website. Again, you can use my discount code, it is MAMMARIED, it gives you £5 off your order and there are so many ways to customise your prints. If you don't already follow me over on Instagram, head on over there at my married. I'd love to see you over there for a chat and my DMs are always open if you fancy dropping into the DMs and having a chat with me or any questions. I'm always over there for a chat. And if you also want to follow me on TikTok, it's at Ash Married. I'll try and post some of these hacks over here in the next few weeks so you can keep up to date with those. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Or is it just a game? Cause I got high hopes.